In this video, I will show you how we set up our metronome or click for our church service. This is actually a new thing that we're doing kasi limited na yung cellphone app na ginagamit namin. And anyways, uh, we are transitioning to this tool because we're planning for future growth, uh, integration ng automation system namin. So if you wanna check this out, click track, metronome, you want your band to be in sync, then check this video out. Let's go! <laughs> Now, the app I am talking about is Ableton Lite. No, hindi siya yung standard or yung live na version kasi we don't have budget pa for that. <laughs> but uh, we're just using Lite and for the click track na application, I believe it's enough sa amin for now since wala pa naman kaming stems for yung tracks talaga na may keys and synths and pads and everything like that. Basic setup lang muna tayo just for metronome and click track. As you can see in your screen, ito yung default ng Ableton Live 10 Lite. When you open it, ganito yung itsura niya. Now, kung first time mo siyang makita, siguro it, it's, it looks intimidating. Pero sobrang dali lang niya guys. Promise, I'm going to prove that to you and show you ano yung nangyayari dito. So, our goal is to make a click track. As you can see here sa channels natin, may dalawang MIDI, dalawang audio, 3 and 4. But... Don't mind that, we are not going to need that. Ang importante dito is itong master na area. Because dito natin, i-input yung mga songs natin and tempos ng mga song natin na ipa-play. Ito, from here, rename tayo. Let's say, um, Glorious Day, yung lineup natin. Glorious Day by Passion Music. Okay, Passion. Pinaka-secret weapon natin dito is to go to multitracks.com <laughs> and find the details doon. Because bakit mo imamano-mano kung may resources naman na free? To all of you right there na gusto ng easy life and simpler na flow, take a look at this. Alright, so yung key na dito is nasa key of D and then yung BPM is 110 and then yung time signature is 44. So ito yung mangyayari. I-input natin yan doon just for us to understand to. So right here, uh, i-rename natin. Two ways to rename. You can right-click and then click rename. Or pwede mo din siyang i-control R. Kasi medyo may IT skills tayo, control R tayo. <laughs> Glorious Day um, by Passion. Tapos ako, I like to put the key. And then lagyan ko ng 110. Tapos after ng 110, BPM. That's very important, okay? Write the BPM para matrack ni Ableton na yan yung tempo. Kasi kung ano yung BPM na nandyan, yan yung magiging uh, global BPM. Meaning ng global BPM, i-adjust niya yung buong application to fit into yung BPM na nakaset mo dito. So, isi-show ko lang before ako magpatuloy. So, you can see here, 110 BPM. But you can see here, ito yung global eh. When you press spacebar and turn this on, ito, itong click na to, this button right here, this is the trigger for the click, ito yung maririnig mo. Okay? That's 120 BPM. That's very important. So, ano ba yung silbe na uh, 110 BPM na to? Ito, it's change na to automatically. So, watch this. Ready? Let's go. Right there. You saw it? You said change? From 120, naging 110. Why? Because na-trace ni Ableton na 110 BPM siya sa title mo lang. So that's very important. Now, another thing na dapat mo ilagay dyan is yung time signature. So 4-4. Four, four, para yung time signature niya is 4-4. 3-4. 1, 2, 3-4. Minsan, narinig natin sa click, hindi siya 4-4. Ginagawa nilang 8 notes eh. So dito, ang ginagawa ko, to make my life simple, is 8-8 eight, eight yung <laughs> nilalagay ko. Uh, this is how it sounds like. Uh, 8 over 8. Meaning, walong 8 notes. Now, so minsan, ginagawa kong 8 notes yung click namin para mas madali. So, kung eto yung 4-4. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Mas madaling sabayan yung 8-8 kasi ganito yung tunog niya. Rename natin. 8-8. Okay. Walong 8 notes. Right? It all depends on you kung gusto niyo yung 4-4 or 8-8. Sa amin naman, most of the time, we do 8-8 to make our lives easier. <laughs> now, let's move on to another one. Uh, another example here is I Am Who You Say I Am by Hillsong. So, actually, yung title niyan is Who You Say I Am lang. Who You Say I Am. So it's in the key of G flat, 86 yung BPM niya, tapos yung time signature niya is 
six eight. Very important. Okay, I am who you say I am. By Hillsong, G flat eighty six BPM and then six eight. Okay, let's listen to it. Glorious day. Who you say I am? Okay, uh, look at this. Yung tempo niya nasa 86 and then yung time signature niya is 68. See? Uh, dito sa title mo, dito mo set yung automation ni Ableton. Para, pag nag-play kayo, just one click of a button, set na siya kagad. Now, let's take a step further and let's use another um, feature na tong Ableton na to to make our lives even more easy by using hotkeys. What do I mean by that? You can assign a keyboard button para makontrol mo or matrigger mo yung song na gusto mong i-play. Watch this. So right here, nakikita mo is atong key na to. And what that means is, pag i-click mo tong Glorious Day na to, and then I press 1 here in my keyboard, so yung Glorious Day, matitrigger siya by when I press this 1, okay, sa keyboard ko. Atong who you say I am, 2, Okay. And then when I do that and turn off the key, I can now trigger them by just pressing my keyboard right here. So one, and then two. See, it's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Now, what if my MIDI controller ka, my pad ka, kasi yung keyboard ng computer is too small for you, medyo cute siya, so mas gusto mo yung MIDI control dito sa keyboard mo. Simple lang din. This is how you do it. Hindi ko pa pala na-set up to. <laughs> So ayun, tapos na ako mag-setup eh, no? <laughs> so another way to ano, control this uh, application, this Ableton Live Lite, is through a MIDI device. So in this case, yung keyboard ko, gawin natin MIDI para ma-assign ko yung song natin to a certain key. So paano ba siya gagawin? Before you start, you have to set some things muna para makontrol mo itong Ableton through your MIDI device. And this is how you do it. You go to Preferences dito sa Options. Okay, preferences. And then you click remote. Okay, dapat naka-on to para ito siya can control this one. So okay na siya. And then you click this one right here, MIDI, kasi MIDI yung gagamitin natin. And that will turn blue. And then when you click itong glorious day and you click, for example, lang C, ayun, it will show here na C3 siya. And then who you say I am, try natin yung D. Okay, D. And then when you click that, try natin ha, C. Okay. Right there. How about D? So as easy as that, na setup mo na siya. Now, uh, suggest ko sa inyo, if you have some spare keyboard, use that as MIDI controller. Or if you have yung pads talaga na ganun, then that is much better. Kasi marami ka pang magagawa doon. If you want to trigger play or stop or mga volume, pwede mo pang i-trigger yun using your device right here. So two options. Key, meaning keyboard mo. That's the most budget na setup and most straightforward. Kasi click lang naman. Or you can use the more sophisticated setup using your keyboard or your uh, other devices as MIDI controller to control this one right here. So that is it for this video, no? You have now learned how to set up your Ableton Live Lite para sa click track mo, sa services ninyo. And I hope you guys have a more synchronized and harmonious worship time and much easier control using this application. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below. If you are new to this channel, then don't forget to lay hands on that subscribe button so that you won't miss anything that I'll be posting soon. There will be more ahead, guys. So see you there. Peace, y'all.